Hi friends and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, hello! My name's George Agambar and I'm a UK music producer. Today's video is all about electric guitars. These really are a staple of lots and lots of songs and the great news is there's lots we can do to them in terms of producing and mixing them. So in this video we're going to have a look at how to record an electric guitar and our choice of amps and pedals in Logic. And then I thought it would also be interesting to see whether we can take a recording of an acoustic guitar and make it sound like an electric guitar, and if we can take a MIDI instrument line and also make it sound like an electric guitar. So if you want to learn a bit more about this, make sure you stay tuned and hit the subscribe button and notification bell for new videos every Wednesday. And things will never be the same when I hear The first thing we need to do is to record the electric guitar into the DAW. There are two main ways to do this, either recording a physical guitar amp or recording straight into the DAW. I would say that recording a physical guitar amp is probably the most classic technique for recording electric guitar. But I think that unless you're certain that it's the absolute guitar sound that you want, it's not the best way. And that's because recording a physical amp means that your recording will be coloured by the tone of the amp, the settings on the amp, your room and your mic choice, which may not be ideal. However, if you are going to record a physical amp, I would advise that you record the guitar clean with minimal EQ settings and minimal effects, as this will give you the most flexibility during the producing and mixing stages. We can also record a dry electric guitar track straight into the DAW. Now this is a much newer technique, however I think that emulations of amps and pedals in DAWs have come on leaps and bounds in recent years. So we just need to remember that electric guitars normally have passive pickups, so in order to record them we'll either need to use a DI box or have an interface with a special input that allows you to do this. So now that we know how to record the electric guitar, let's have a look at what we can do with it in the box. So now that we have our dry electric guitar recording, we need to make it sound like a guitar. We do this by putting it through one of the amp emulations. So you want to open up the amp designer. The plugin looks like this. And this is such a cool plugin for so many reasons. Firstly, we can choose from a huge list of preset sounds and amp emulations. We do this by going to the menu at the top, and you can see they've been organised into categories of clean, crunch and distorted. So let's choose the Britannica Crunch. Once we've selected the amp or sound, you'll see an image of the amp as if it were real. You can adjust all the amp settings just like you would be able to on a physical amp. Along the bottom, we can alter it. We can choose the type of amp either using the model or amp menu, and we can also choose the cabinet connected to it. Talking about the cabinets, this plugin also gives us so much control of which cabinet we use, the position of the mic, and even the type of mic we're using on the cabinet. We choose the mic using the menu along the bottom, and we can change the position of the mic by hovering near the image of the cab and then dragging the dot representing the mic on the graph. I just love the way that the mic in the image moves as well. So let's hear the guitar recording before and after it's been through the Amp Designer plugin. And wow, it sounds completely different and really lifelike. Now, that's all great if we have an electric guitar that we can use to record. 
But what if we only have an acoustic guitar? Can we get the same or somewhat similar results? I've recorded a very similar acoustic guitar track. So let's put it through these amp and pedal emulations in Logic and see whether we can get a similar sounding result to the electric guitar. So here's an acoustic guitar recording where I've played in the exact same track that I did with the electric guitar. They sound completely different, which makes sense as they are different instruments. But I'm going to put this acoustic recording through the same amp in the amp designer and tweak a few settings to see if I can get it to sound similar to the electric guitar recording. Here is the electric versus acoustic guitar. Okay, so they don't sound exactly the same, but the acoustic guitar certainly doesn't sound too acoustic anymore, which was the main aim. And again, this video has been great for if you have a guitar and you can play the guitar. But what if you don't and you can't? I thought it would be really interesting, and actually just quite fun, to see whether we can take a MIDI piano instrument, run it through the amp and pedal emulations, and see whether we can mimic an electric guitar sound. So let's have a play. I'm a bit sceptical about this one. I've got a MIDI recording of a simple Yamaha grand piano, which we can all agree is miles away from the electric guitar. But let's see what happens when we put it through the amp. Okay, so it sounds slightly better, but it's still sounding quite a lot like a piano. I've had a look at the frequencies of the electric guitar compared to the piano, and so I'm going to EQ the piano track a bit to make it more similar to the electric guitar and see if that helps. Now let's compare the electric guitar and the piano sound. <laughs> I'm pleasantly surprised that this has turned out okay. Admittedly, it doesn't sound as authentic as the electric guitar and you don't have the nuances of the guitar being played, but I think that it would work as a substitute for an electric guitar if you didn't have access to one. So those are some ways that we can play around with electric guitars in Logic. I think that the amp emulations and pedals that Logic gives us are really great and give us so much flexibility when wanting to use and get the electric guitar sound. I also really like the way that you don't necessarily have to have an electric guitar to get that sound. It just shows how you can always think outside the box and find a workaround for things. Thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you found it useful and interesting. Let me know what you thought in the comments below and if there are any other videos you'd like to see in the future. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and notification bell and I will see you again soon.